Today, the unveiling of a secondary street name, recognizing a woman who had just incredible influence on Cincinnati and beyond. Uh, Shirley Merrick lived life full of passion and compassion, and her push to encourage people to live a healthier life impacted every person she encountered. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller was at today's ceremony, joins us now from North Avondale. This is a woman, Curtis, who was ahead of her time. Yeah, Mike and Cherie, she really was, you know, it's a fitting honor for Shirley Merrick. I can tell you, just an amazing person, an amazing family, really. Uh, she was beloved by so many in this city, and now her legacy will live on long after she has been gone now, every time you pass the corner of Avondale and Reading Road. The value of having these honorary street namings is that for generations to come, the names will be up there, the history is not forgotten. We need to really hold on to our, to our history. She was doing things, as we talked about, that weren't being done in many areas. Folks gathered on the corner of Avondale and Redding to honor the late Shirley Merrick, the same corner where her historic health food store once stood, called G and Shirley's Health Food. She proudly told all of us the G stands for God. This is great. So the first black owned health food store, not only in Cincinnati, here in North Avondale, in the city of Cincinnati and in the country, it's the oldest one. She was a force throughout Cincinnati, using her own life as an example of how self-care and eating the right foods can benefit longevity. A doctor told her when she was in her early 30s, she only had two weeks to live. She used to do 150 sit-ups and 150 leg rises every day. She would run and run early in the morning so she could get home in time to get us ready for school. The doctor gave up on her and told her she had two weeks to live. She prayed and said, when God, she was in her 30s. when she's in her early 30s. So instead of two weeks, she lived 37 years longer. Her founding in 1977 was proof that the health gap was on the right direction. And what she did was ahead of his time. I understand that she had the first health food store in the nation. And so we understand how important eating right is to our quality of life and our longevity of life. This was wonderful and we don't do enough of recognizing particularly trailblazers in our city. Yeah, you know, Shirley Merrick passed away back in 2002. She was only 69 years old at the time. The health food store, by the way, that stood here is now located in College Hill. And I must tell you, I was honored that the family asked me to speak today. I've known them for a long time. They've always been supportive of me and uh, just a great family. And I can tell you, I even saw her husband, who I've known a long time. Uh, they were married for nearly... 50 years. Again, this was a great honor for her and her family today. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.